do is land one hit. So Nagi really? then gets kicked in the temple. And then bro just started blasting on some Chun-Li type shit. Nigga hitting him with the helicopter kick. And just straight up teeing off on bro. He has to throw shit. <laughs> Look at Bob, bro. He like, damn. My nigga getting his ass kicked. So then somehow Soichiro gets up from that shit. So bro comes in flying with another kick. But then bro ducks under it on some Steve Fox type shit. And he throws a what? punch, but he grabs the punch midair and hits a whole skin of Rooney on that nigga. And bro is How, bruh? You know, girl, wake up. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another reaction video. This is another reaction video from no other than CJ the Champ. I said I was going to follow up with the rest of the disrespectful moments and i looked around and for some reason either he had number four up there or either he took number four off so number four is nowhere to be found it's mia so we're moving on to number three so this is disrespectful moments number three let's get it all right here we go so then he throws a punch where bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox and straight up just really shots. But everybody like the hell? Hey, hey my boy, you shouldn't have done that shit. And, and yeah, my guy ain't even gonna lie. He he should have not done that. Shit. So then bro just started blasting. Jesus Christ! Boy hit that with the HR Gram 64 bombs. Whoa. What the hell did we get ourselves into? Alright, ladies and All right. gentlemen, it is finally time to return to a series that we have not been to in Jesus Christ four goddamn months. I know some of y'all. Oh, really? Probably like <laughs> he forgot about that, shit, didn't he? <clears throat> well, for your information, yeah, I ain't even gonna lie, y'all, my boy, I forgot about that. Shit. <laughs> he said he, I forgot about that. Hey, hey, but listen, listen, it's finally time to return to the most disrespectful moments in anime history. The series that we will observe some of the most outlandish, outrageous, most brutal beatdowns in anime history. And just some moments that just make you look at the screen like, well, damn, did they really have to do the nigga like that? But ladies and gentlemen, sit back and relax. Grab some popcorn. Grab As I tell popcorn. you about our sponsor today, Monster Legends. Monster Legends is a free-to-play game available on both Android and iOS. You could build a entire world for your monsters and just fill up the entire habitat, my boy. Okay. In Monster Legends, there are just hundreds Let's of monsters. Let's go straight into that. With different rarities and elements. You got fire, water, nature, earth, dark, light, thunder, magic, and metal. Bro, you can even breed your own species to make a whole new species. Like in all honesty, like you could like really make the avatar if you wanted to. Hey, but one of the <laughs> <laughs> coolest features in the game though is youtuber island where you can find monsters created from some of the biggest youtubers out there wow. level up your monsters and put them to the test in action-packed battles in pvp you can go explore some dungeons or fight your homies and even fight in epic team wars with other monster masters hey hey but that's not all though because if you download this right now with this link in the description you will receive 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster Kaori. Like, my God, look at that menace. But remember, this is a limited time reward available only until February 6th. But ladies and gentlemen, okay. without further ado, let's get disrespectful in this bitch. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we go. Late. It's actually a moment that came out pretty recently, and that is Nezuko stomping out Daki. Now, as we can see, Tanjiro is okay. fighting Daki right now, and he's about to cut the bitch head off. But Burrow ended up choking because the nigga forgot to breathe. So while he's doing his greatest General Grievous impression, trying to get his breath back, Nezuko comes from behind and kicks the dog shit out the bitch. Yeah. Whoa! Damn. Made the whole world like a bowling ball. And look at her, she angry as hell, biting the hell out of that damn bamboo retainer, whatever the hell that is. A lot of <laughs> coming out of the damn mouth. Like, bro, she kicked half of her head off. So they start boxing, but damn. Naki gives her the chop and just slings her like three houses down. She is crushed by this rubble, and she is still angry as sh. So while Doki's monologuing and talking shit, really? Nezuko gets up from that and regrows literally all of her limbs. A whole she hand. Takes a whole, a whole bite out of the damn bamboo stick. Whoa. Jesus Christ, look at this absolute menace. Nigga, she got veins in her forehead. And I know, Doki, right? She like, what the f what type of crack did this just snort? So then Nezuko blitzes her ass. Oh my god. 
Yeah. Straight up stepped on her ass. Made the sound like a door creaking open. Uh, Nigga, her whole foot is in her back. And look at her staring at her like shit. I know your back ain't been blown out like this before, has it? Nah. Up her foot and straight up breaks her arm in half. Oh my god. She is the sonic she ring. Is she is kicking the licking oh shit god. out of this. Stepping on her ass harder than a thong. Oh my god, bro. Her head is bouncing <laughs> off the ground. But then Doki loses, so she just slices up her entire body. Ow. Bro, her blood is literally holding her together right now. And, and then she just started burning her ass. So then she reattaches her head, jumps up to high Fuck heaven, and just people. replants her face. Into oh the my ground. god, yo. Start stomping her out again. Ass up this is everything. just the first one. At this point, this fight is over. Just let the bitch quit. I know, like, right? Nigga, I ain't done yet. So then she gets her up, climbs her up for the kick and just straight up boots the bitch. Hey, But no, no, we didn't think he'd get even worse for Doki, right? Will it? Really? Do? So while Tanjiro is trying to calm Nezuko down, Doki's trying to get back up and trying to land a hit on her. Tengen comes in and stops the whole attack. So while he's talking to Tanjiro, Doki's like, ooh, a Hashi, right? You came to fight, nigga? And he's like, shut your ass up. I ain't got time for your weak ass. So then she's really? Talking, and then her whole head just falls off. In just a split of a second, this man stopped her whole attack and straight up decapitated the bitch. So while she's wow. about why she's an upper six, and thinking like, uh, so why is your literal head in your fucking hands right now, you sorry ass bitch? And then she started crying. <laughs> hey yo, this girl was talking Bro, how the hell like ten minutes ago, and now. Bro, like, how is that possible? She crying with her head sitting in her lap, like that's straight up disrespectful i do not care how you way shape or form you put it you can't get no disrespectful than that and this is just the first one so i don't even know exactly what the next one is gonna be like god boy head in your lap is crying trying to wonder how come you beheaded and then on top of that you're trying to figure out why you lost like he came in real quick fast with a blade strike and talking his stuff to the other members you know all of a sudden your head just come off you know yeah this comes off you know and now it's crying now she's crying her ass off hey but you know what watching this ass whooping taught us all a lesson though never judge a book by his cover because that one no. white nigga in the class could have some hands and some black forces in his backpack true 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 right. the hell <laughs> Next up no, on the list today is one of the most classic beatdowns of all time, and that is the Tenjo Tenge Lunchroom Agni Kai. So while Masataka okay. and Baba are having lunch, Nagi comes in and he wants to smoke, and he's trying to run the hands with Masataka. And keep in mind, bro, Nagi's only been at this school for two f***ing days, and he already trying to run somebody's <laughs> fate on the second day of school. Come on, bro. Punch, but bro. Like, bro, like, seriously, I don't even do no shit like that. You know, the bully of the whole school don't even do no mess like that. Like, come on, man. Two days. You couldn't wait for a whole week. You couldn't wait a whole week. Two days. Bro, that's Stop what you're going to do. Chopstick. Then he gut checks homie and sends them flying. Ooh. So everybody clears out the lunchroom because they're about to throw down. They're about to have a straight agony. Yeah, they, Nagi, yeah. Nagi's ready to humble his ass. He like, bro, it's only your second day and you're already starting shit. So then he says, all right, bro, since you were first here, I'll give you a handicap. All you got to do is land one hit. So Nagi really? runs in and gets kicked in the temple. And then bro just started blasting on some Chun-Li type shit. Nigga hitting him with the helicopter kick. And just straight up teeing off on bro. He hasn't Good thrown God. Yet. <laughs> Look at Bob, bro. He like, damn. My nigga getting his ass kicked. So then somehow Soichiro gets up from that shit. So bro comes in flying with another kick. But then bro ducks under it on some Steve Fox type shit. And he throws a what? punch, but he grabs the punch midair and hits a whole skin of Rooney on that nigga. And bro is How, out there. How, bruh? And then no girl wakes him up and she's... That was so freaking smooth. Yeah. The anime is beyond, beyond some other stuff, but... Nonetheless, let's not pay attention to that right there. Yeah, dude just basically just grabbed his fist. And like he said, did a spin rooney and just basically just like drop kicked him like a double kick in his face. Like how you just breaking the laws of 
physics with that right there that was so quick so fast you didn't even see it coming literally and then here comes this lady it's like nigga you really gonna get your ass whooped in front of all these niggas? you sorry as hell with that fake ass super saiyan cut you got going on my boy <laughs> it is pissed off right now this man is ready to beat this nigga to a pulp nigga like this is the first day i want him to whoop his ass so bad so then he throws a punch where bro ends up stopping his punch with a lunchbox and straight up just what? cheap shots him. But everybody like, hey, 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 my boy, you shouldn't have done that shit. Nah. Yeah, my nigga, I ain't even gonna lie. He he should have not done that shit. So then, bro just started blasting. Good Jesus God, Christ. yo. Boy hit that nigga with the HR Gram 64 bomb. And they trying to get him off him, but he like, got the way, nigga. Yo, dog literally dug his own grave. So then he picks up his life. Oh, he over. He done. Oh, oh, my God, bro. That nigga's breakfast is gone. Just look at this. Bro didn't awaken the God, demon. Yo. So then he throws a kill shot and it's over. The, the screen just cuts the black. That, that nigga's dead. So later on, we Bruh. catch him sitting on top of this roof. And look at him. He like, damn. I really got my ass whooped on the second day of school. And the thing is, he picked the fight and it was in front of his girl too. Hey, I know, bro, right? Bro. Nah, bro. That's it. That's disrespectful as shit. Yes, it is. All right. Next up on the list is Adam smoking Ricky's pack. So Ricky challenged what? Adam, who was basically a love child between Dio and Hisoka, and the kid looked up to Tony Hawk. And this man does one of the most absolutely okay. disrespectful things you could ever do to anybody. So the race what? starts, so Ricky takes off, but Adam is still standing there. And then this nigga pulls out a whole pack of black and miles and starts smoking that shit. What? <laughs> Ain't no way dog and this nigga just straight monologues for about two minutes talking about how good his black and miles are so after he's done with his smoke break he pick bruh how you do that like you're supposed to be in a race but then your tail's in the head smoking like literally smoking like he must he must be catching he must be about to catch up with him real fast pro, most likely up his board and just start Naruto running. Nigga went from zero to six second and he is gone. And within five seconds, he's already on his ass. He like, what up, little nigga? What I hope the you hell? Like the start I gave your ass. And this nigga still got the black and mild in his hand, bro. And his hand he still. And just starts dancing on the skateboard. Like nigga, what the fuck is happening right now? Well, then he pushes him down and just holds him an inch away from the ground. And look at him, he like, don't close your eyes, little nigga. You should save for this shit. So then Ricky passes him and does a nice ass little grind. So Adam like, hmm, okay, I'll fuck with you, my boy. So he throws down the cigarette and Show hits this nasty ass Casper's like, God what damn. What the boy. hell? Then this nigga does this pose and hits this called the love hug and he is skating uphill. This nigga said, F the laws of physics, my boy. So they I know, the right? Line. Bro just ended up rolling down the whole hill about like 50 yards. Oh, Jesus Christ, back on skate three, that is a fat ass going haul of meat. Hey, but no, 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 no. This man wasn't even <laughs> done yet, bro. Because while I'm talking about this anime, I got to add one more thing that he did. So they're having this what? tournament, and Adam is racing Cherry right now. And Cherry is actually beating him right now because I ain't even going to lie, bro. His board is like actual cheats. So then Adam pulls in front of him, and Show then this nigga moves. just starts tap dancing on his damn board. So then and Cherry what? says, don't get too cocky, nigga. But Adam's like, nah, don't be too optimistic, motherfucker. So then he gets off his board, runs up at him, and slaps the nigga with the board. So he said, get out of my face with that cheating Ooh. ass board, nigga. Hit his ass so hard to replay three different times. And then while he's on the ground, he starts talking shit to him, and he says, yeah, the reason I never responded to your beefs is because, yeah, nigga, you born as shit. <laughs> bro, pack it up, bro. This man is a menace. Dang. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to our final moment. So I decided oh, I might final moment. this one for last. Gotta make it quick, though, before these niggas get on my ass. And that is Mihawk pulling a butter knife on Zoro. So we all know Zoro's He wants to be the greatest swordsman of all time. But to do that, he's gonna have to get past this nigga. I mean, look how bro pulled up looking like a dripped out vampire slayer. And look at him, how pitiful. Weak one. Nigga, you weak as hell and you sorry as hell. What but you in know the what? World. I'll give you a handicap. I'll Check pull out, out the whole butter knife. <laughs> And look at dude, I'm no beast that goes all out when hunting a rabbit. So unfortunately, this is... Okay, that, hold on. Let's, let's rewind this back. This I mean, look how bro pulled up looking like a dripped out vampire slayer. And look at him, how pitiful. Weak one. Nigga, you weak as hell. Okay. How many... Okay, I know he wants to be a swordsman, but how many swords do you need, bro? How many? One, yes. Two, to be, you know... I say, bro, two, 
Why you got three? Like, I'm missing something. Like, why would you have three? At most, you probably would have two. Why would you want to wheel three of them? But let's let's see what this dude about to do. And don't think I forgot about the big one on this dude's back. Helen, you sorry as hell, but you know what? I'll give you. Look at that right there, bruh. What's up with the cross on this mug? Not only is a long ass blade, just like something off of Devil May Cry or DMC, but that cross, that whew, the cross on that mug is big. But then at the same time, he said he wasn't going to use that. He was going to use a smaller knife. Yeah, I'll pull out a Look at butter that. knife. Really? Look at dude, I'm no beast that goes all out when hunting a rabbit. So unfortunately, this is the smallest shit I got. <laughs> Yo, pack it Whoa. up, my nigga. Like, dog, back in the day during East Blue, this was the craziest. Sh the hell, got he got three stores, he got and it got stopped by a butter knife. Zoro's like, what the? F oh, nigga, I'm out of my league. And just look at him, prairie, 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 prairie off fucking day. So then Zoro jumps up, but then he just gets stabbed. Man, stabbed really? a butter knife, and it sent through shockwaves. So then he like, state your name, nigga. Rep your set. As courtesy of surviving so long, I'll actually pull out my real oh. sword. So then we have our stereotypical enemy sword clash. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, but we knew Zora was taking that L. Even with do rag bro. Hey, but even though this is disrespectful as sh it made our boy who he is today. Because this man no doubt a menace. Bro. So yeah, that was a mo most disrespectful moments in anime history three and i mean hell since we bringing it back i might as well just do one of these once every month with all the other videos so we'll try to make this series a little consistent but anyways uh, uh make sure y'all go subscribe to the second channel we almost had 100k on that bitch. and also follow your boys ig and twitter and also make sure to go check out monster legends the link is in the description below and thank you guys for sponsoring this video today but anyways yeah but wow like whoo yeah, that that mess is brutal. Like that one slash gets them every time. It really does. In other words, don't judge a book by its cover. Cause he may have all the swords in his play, but dude just was a little bit better. Oh well, let me not cap on that. He a whole lot better than the guy, you know, with the three swords. So never judge a book by its cover. But other than that, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit your boy up with that like button and have the notification bell turned on. We're going to be popping out more videos as time go by. And check out the gaming channel as well. You know, got a little gaming stuff going on over there. So, you know, check that out as well. I'll be posting um, little comments and stuff like little posts on this channel let you know that i'm going live over there i'm trying to be consistent with that just trying to let everybody know get a little heads up on you know the gaming channel and everything like that spreading the word as it is but yes i thank you very much for being here today and if you made it to the end i rec thank you very much you know try to get everybody to stay towards the end you know get some information on other channels and such so yeah Without further ado, I'm out of this thing, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.